uh, if testosterone is given to younger men who, I don't know, want to be better at football yeah. or want to be better athletes, um, and does it affect their fertility or affect them from a, a negative health standpoint? Yes, I, and, and that's, uh, that's another take home point I, I would take home was the testosterone on the young people. So unfortunately, the abuse of anabolic steroids is actually more common than we care to admit, and not just for cyclists and thing, things like that. As part of my job, I do see males um, with infertility issues. A lot of the guys do come in, haven't been exposed to testosterone. And it's kind of counterintuitive because we, as we think testosterone is important to, for sperm production, giving you more must be better, right? And, and that's what a lot of the men's health clinics um, that's what they treat men, give them testosterone. Unfortunately, when a man is exposed to testosterone, our body get lazy. So we start making our own testosterone, which in turn start making our own sperm. So at one point, testosterone was actually studied as a male birth control. And then what I found was that giving a healthy college man testosterone, in six months, we pretty much sterilized them. So I think it's really important for college students who yeah. might be thinking about this to hear yeah. that, that, they, that they, can, they can become sterile yeah. or infertile. And then luckily for us, there are ways to turn their body back on because is that your body is in off mode because your body is used to being exposed to testosterone. We got to turn it back exactly, on. Exactly, we turn it back on. But unfortunately, even though 80% of the guys we can turn back on, they're usually not at 100% of what their fertility was. So it is a partial recovery, but at least it is not an irreversible damage.